have a confession to make. Today's video is going to be, of course, still a Rama video, but we are not back in Gen 15 yet. I know, I don't know about you, but I'm missing the number Gen 15, but this is something that's my mar on my heart, and I think it's very relative to what is going on in our world right now. Before I continue, let me tell you who I am, because you're like, who is this girl with her crazy colorfulness? My name is Esther Lawi. I am the host of this channel and I make three videos every week. I just want to put up like 7,000 videos. Three videos, just three videos every week. Um, And my Sunday videos are my Rema videos. Rema, by the way, it means message directly from God to your heart and your soul. Okay. So I make a videos on Sundays, and then on Tuesdays, I make social justice videos, and then on Thursdays, I make life-related videos. So I call my Sunday videos my hashtag Esther Ministers videos. Tuesday video is hashtag Esther Speaks, because I speak into your life to teach you to be the best human you can be. And then, of course, Esther's life is on Thursdays. Okay, so um thank you for coming to my channel please 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 do subscribe it does make a lot of difference um and not only that not only subscribe but also leave a comment and give a like if you are the kind of person like my friend who i'm not gonna say her name because she doesn't want that you're just like not comfortable with like you know leaving comments or even like subscribing so you can relate to your channel um your email so they get it, give it a like, and if you like it, okay. If you like it, give it a like. Don't like it because I said so. Like it if you like it. <laughs> um, and if you are one of my 100 plus subscribers, oh, thank you so much. But don't forget, please, please, please leave a comment. It really does help. It helps YouTube to know my channel is making a difference. And two, it helps more people to see it. The more comment you leave, right? So more people can be blessed. So let's jump into today's video. I started by saying I have a confession, and here's my confession. Woo! Now, one of my biggest followers, biggest, most faithful followers is my mother. So she would be like, oh, no, but it's true, it's true, it's so true. I have not been reading my Bible as often as I used to. So when I was in college, Every friend left for college. This is something my mom did for every single one of us. When we go into college, <laughs> she knows how much we love animal crackers, right? So she buys that ginormous tub of animal crackers, give it to us, and on top of it, she would bring, give us this brand new. Oh my god, this was like, I was look, I was so excited when it was my turn. Brand new devotional Bible, you all. Like ah, best mom ever. Like this Bible like that she's had and we watched her read over the years now i have my own and then she put like a nice like bible cover you know when i was in college man i read that thing i was like so on it i read through the bible genesis to revelation in one year like year after year after year and then as i got older and life got crazy and everything i kind of stopped reading through the bible um and then all of a sudden i stopped reading my bible every day all of a sudden i just Deal with my Bible for a couple weeks or like longer, and then I'll get really excited about it. I'll be like, Okay, I'm gonna study my Bible today. Yes, so I'll get that Bible that my mom bought for me, and I'll be like, All right, what day of the week is it? Because the devotional that tells you like what to read each day of the year, you know. So today is September 27. Okay, I'm gonna read, but I could never keep it up for more than three days, and that is honest to God truth. And so I realized something. As much as I love that Bible, I had read through it, color coded, written so much in it, like there was so much grammar I had written in it, which is great. But I kinda I don't know how to say this. I'll just say what I what I'm what I think happened, I think I kinda outgrew that particular devotional. And that was okay. It was great for when I was a young adult and I was in college, but I'm an old woman now, you are. <laughs> P.S. A lot of people can never get my age right. So write in the comment below just for fun. How do you think I am? Mm -hmm. um, I will talk about it during my Who Knows Me More um, Thursday video. My husband or my best friend. Which will happen sometime in the future. I don't know why. But anyways. How do you think I am? But anyways. I am old. <laughs> no offense to anybody. But that's how I feel. Like, I feel like I'm so old y'all. And 
I was like, I need to get back into it. I need to spend time with God. I wanna, I love making these Sunday videos, my grandma videos, my SM Ministers videos, because it kind of it pushes me to spend time in God's presence, not just jump from the camera and say random stuff, right? Which is great, but for me personally, like me and God moments, nothing was happening, you all. Like nothing was happening. I'm just like, this is not okay. I need this to happen so here's what i did and maybe this is something that you need to do okay i decided step one i'm not gonna try and read through the bible for a year it was such a high such a oh my gosh i read through the bible four years in a row it was great it was fantastic but now it's like that's not really my goal anymore Right? It's wonderful. Like, if you haven't done it, but if, wow, there goes my English degree. If you haven't done it yet, by the way, you should give it a try. I'm not saying you have to, I'm just saying, if it's something you want to do, yeah, I love it. It's so amazing. I still, I want to, but I realized that I need to stop feeling guilty for not reading through the Bible in a year. That's one. Two, I have to decide why do I even want to read my Bible every day? Why? Why do I want to read my Bible every day? And I realized I was missing God. I was missing that us time. Because when I was younger, my goodness, like in this summer, I would just grab my Bible and study it and take notes. And it just got me so excited. And it's been a while I'm excited about my walk with God. It's been a long time that I've been excited about me and God. And I was like, I want to get that excitement back. Not, oh, excuse me. Not that I need a spiritual high on a daily basis, but knowing that me and God, are, 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 we have that true relationship, and my soul knows it, my spirit knows it, my body feels it, because trust me, when you spend time with God, your body feels it. Like your skin feels it. Okay, I'm not gonna go into that detail, that's a lot. I, <laughs> I'm not saying it's not possible, but okay forget what i just said what i'm trying to say is your body soul and spirit all three parts of you work together and do benefit from spending time with god okay actually you know i am gonna give a quick quick example spending time in god's presence as i was spending time with god one day god told me something about the way i wash my face i know you're like why god cares about that he does because you do and I literally changed the way I washed my face and my skin turned off. Okay, so just that's my quick example of all three of you. I mean, your body also better finger from spending time with God. Oh God, I'm so fast. Okay, so I miss spending time with God. I said that like my goal for the one year thing was not really what I needed right now. And three, I decided now what? So what I decided is like I want to make it a three part thing for myself because I know that's the way my mind works. I want to do a 90 day experiment, but with my health, my um, emotional relationship with other people, that's my soul part, and also my walk with God. So I started this like 90 day thing and I made it like a fun thing, like, okay, here's what's going to happen. On your next picture, you're going to put us at $100 and you're going to put it to us a brand new Bible that is pretty, that I like, that I just for myself. I want it to be a Bible that makes reading the Bible easy and fun. And I like like maps. I like timelines. I like like little pretty quotes and like other things like that in my Bible, like all together there, pre-made for me. And I also like taking notes. So I got myself a brand new Bible. Oh my gosh, guys. It's like super pretty. Let me show you. This is my Bible. She reads truth Bible. And it's like so pretty you guys are you ready are you ready for this oh my gosh i already ready i just wanted to keep it in the box so you can see what it looks like this is my bible i love it okay so guess what today was my first day reading the bible my very first day reading my bible i'm just gonna show you part of the reason why i like it it has this little part right here can you see it it says closing the door on shame I needed that <laughs> and you know something else that it has that I did for me not because people say you should have this in your devotional is it has this like timelines 
of things and to me that's just really exciting like i've always loved that in the bible um like making my own and now i have a bible that has it so if you've not read your bible in a long time or maybe you just read the bible daily and you're like maybe never said the importance of it or you used to see the importance of it and all of a sudden life got in the way well guess what it's not too late it's never too late and that's the remark for today the remark for today is god has been waiting you still have time so as long as you're breathing, you can find that time again. You can renew that relationship with God. And you can read the word your way, your pace. Just do it. Just spend time with God. You don't have to buy a brand new Bible. If you don't have the money to buy a brand new Bible, wow, I can't talk. A brand new Bible. Or maybe you think, I mean, you have one and it works for you. Yeah. That's okay. And maybe you're the kind of person who likes music when you read the Bible. Maybe you prefer audio Bible. You don't have to buy a physical Bible. I know people are going to be like, oh, Esther, don't tell them that. Well, guess what? There was a time where I read my Bible every single day. Sorry, that was like... <laughs> sorry about that. I don't know if you noticed that. If you did, write, it, write below why, why you think I just said sorry. Um... I read my Bible every single day for six months, which was the longest time I had done that after a long time. And it was always on audio. And it worked for me, okay? Spending time in God's way is the most transformational choice you can make. So do it. Spend time with God. And I pray this video blessed you. If it did, subscribe, leave a comment, give a like, share with people. Oh my goodness, share this video with people. If you know somebody out there who's like struggling and they want, they feel like they've run away from God, like, how do you do this? Here's how you do it spend some time with God, make it consistent, do it your way at your own pace, and don't feel guilty about not doing the way your best friend might do it or your ever so fabulous spiritual mom. Hi, mom. I love you. <laughs> so, I love you all so much. I promise next week we're gonna jump right back into John 15. But I just knew the Holy Spirit wanted me to tell you this since I started my own journey today. You all today, okay? So, um, if you want to join me, let me know. Maybe I will create, um, like a um, part of my blog, um, maybe a 90 day journey, like instead of doing um, a blog twice a month i will actually do it for the next 90 days every single day <gasps> that'd be so great okay let's talk about that okay 90 days vlog with me so now i was together um yeah let's do it let's do it hey editing esther here so i decided to scratch the idea of doing it as a blog um but i'm actually what, what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this and I remember what I said like don't beat yourself up if you're not able to stick with a particular thing that you have already in your mind as long as you are working on your relationship with God that's the whole point of this right okay so quickly let me say this part um what I'm gonna be doing is as often as I can I'm gonna go on Instagram and I'm actually gonna put the Bible verse and the remnant that God gave me that day on a, as a post so um it will be like three posts you know it would be like a picture of my Bible, something like that's special about my Bible. Remember, something about my Bible is like really cool, I like it. Um, and then it will be the verse, and then like the grandma. So you have three pictures of that. Okay, perfect. So follow me on Instagram and um, see that. So I think that'll be easier, and me will be more. Um, that'll be more considerate of your time. Okay, that's a lot quicker and easier to see. And then you can leave comments and you know leave comments on Instagram. So yeah, the blog I might still do just for me personally, um, but for sure the Instagram I will do it for you all because I think it'll be great to carry you along my latest journey. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! All right, love you. Bye. Oh, No, Zion, don't tip it over. Nene. Nene, that's right, Nene. Here we go. Yep, sounds like I mean. Do you like playing with hangers, Zion? Do you like it? Is it fun for you? <laughs> <laughs> I hope somebody else is
one person i think i know at least one person i'm gonna say her name i know said her name before actually i'm not gonna say her name because she doesn't like that i just call her dr r okay she knows herself she leaves coming every single time she watches my entire video she's probably not watching this right now and if she says yes then i will do it um all right i love y'all have a wonderful day i'll see you on tuesday for my esther speaks video where i teach you to be the best human you can be so together we can end racism and heal humanity love y'all bye <laughs> oh and then thursday um video will be about personality okay love y'all bye consensus of is that even that is that is that, is that am i using that word correctly wow guys i'm so off today i'm sorry um more considerate. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, that'll be more considerate of your time.